What a day for a daydream What a day for a daydreaming boy And I'm lost in a daydream Dreaming about my bundle of joy And even if time ain't really on my side It's one of those days for taking a walk outside I'm blowing the day to take a walk in the sun And follow my face on somebody's new mode law You may pick up your ears Or you may be daydreaming for a thousand years What a day for a daydream Custom made for a daydreaming boy I'm lost in a daydream Dreaming about my bundle of joy to you. Perfect day for a daydream. And a great record, too. Eleven Spoonful, John Sebastian, loaning me his voice there for a second. Uh, today's a very special day here on Sunday in our apartment. Uh, it's moving day. We've uh, sort of got evicted. I'll tell you about that later. But good surprises in the film and music line. So we have uh, a lot of film that we've been meaning to show you over the past ten months. And uh, we're going to get quite a bit of it in for you today, along with a lot of music. And special guest, direct from the Grand... Grand, grand, gold, grand, a nice studio over in London. Uh, David and Jonathan singing Michelle for you. And uh, we are going to Davos in our special feature to uh, do some skiing up in the ski lodge. We've been promising that for a couple weeks that uh, we did it and we got it for you. Uh, a lot of music. Uh, okay, we did it. We're going to move now. So. This is the kind of day where we, you're really happy you have a lot of friends. Because the moving day. We really need a friend. We need him now. And we got him. Angela Martin, Tracy Day, Brian McKeown, and Adele Satin. And we'll be back with much music along with the moving right after these very brief moments. chocolate cake. It's got vanilla frosting on it. And it's all rolled up together. And then it's swished around in a whole lot of chocolatey frosting. And all you gotta do is put it in your mouth and you're yodeling. Ah, uh, that's not a real yodel. Oh, yes it is. See? It says yodel. Hey, give me one. I'll show you how to really yodel. Now, wouldn't you like to yodel too? Then go to the store and sound off for Drake's chocolatey yodels. Have fun! Yodel it! Yodel it! Well, uh, this is our last Sunday show together with you in your homes or uh, wherever you have your TV set. I'm not quite sure these days. Well, we've been together uh, on Channel 11 for 10 months now. Our gang, Del Satins, Tracy and Angela and Brian joined us uh, a little later after replacing Bunny Thomas. But we've sort of become one big happy family and shared some great adventures together. Um, we'll recapture some of those uh, 
moments on film. Some you've seen, some we have not yet shown. And, of course, there's a lot of music, as usual. Uh, we're going to start out by uh, a 60-second cinema piece that we did. Okay. This is the last show. I'd like to dedicate a couple of songs just to you. A couple of songs just for me? A couple of songs just for me. Julia Clark and the Kinks, they were the well-respected man, and my love, that's <laughs> Bluzette, and to his little pet, and this is my <laughs> little pet, <laughs> Tracy Day. Nice job, Tracy. Thank you. Uh, because we have uh, exactly uh, 45 minutes left, I guess, to uh, get things packed around here, we'll show you very brief movies. Uh, this is what I was trying to tell you about a little earlier, uh, our 60-second cinema version of The Hustler. So you got it. We'll play a little pool, and then we'll be right back after some very brief messages. This is Joseph Cotton. I urge you to watch an extraordinary television documentary, The Rise and Fall of Benito Mussolini. All of the conflicts, passions, and lusty exploits in the life of this notorious dictator are captured in vivid and shocking detail. You'll see how his craving for an empire flowered in a land of poverty. Why beautiful women catered to his whim, his illicit desire. And why the Italian people adored, feared, and then despised this lion among them, this king of all. Was he the savior of Italy in her time of need? Or was he a blustering buffoon, a sword of Caesar? See his turbulent rise to power, the terror-filled reign of the black shirt, and how his passion for conquest and glory led to his vile and bloody end in the television documentary Spectacular, The Rise and Fall of Benito Mussolini. Infamous demagogue and notorious Don Juan. See the sensational rise and fall of Benito Mussolini tonight at 7.
Whistle while you work. <laughs> Lady Esther. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Oh, music. Sometimes we uh, pre-record songs for you on our home video tape recorder. You know if you've been with us any of these past. On our home video tape recorder now, Angela Martin sings certainly a top five song in this city and one of my favorites still. The Supreme, my world is empty without you. We were going to move today, and we're going to do it in two ways. Brian McKeon doing Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels swinging version of Shake a Tail Feather. Move! I heard about the fella you've been dancing with all over the neighborhood. But why did you ask me, baby? I didn't you think I could? I know you've been dancing with another guy. I seen his move his head all night. If that was you and me, baby, I wanna show you how to do it right, do it right, do it right, do it right, do it right. Do it right. Ha ha. Uh, push. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Here we go, little dude. Shake it up, baby. Yeah. Here we go, little dude. Let me see you shake a tail feather. Bend over, let me see you shake a tail feather. Bend over, let me see you shake a tail feather. Whoa! Shake 
see you shake a tail feather. Our neighbors complain, but who cares today, right? <laughs> hey, that's nice. Mitch Wright in Detroit Wheels, Brian McKeown. He's a good friend of yours, yes, obviously. He yeah, he does good stuff, too. Okay. So he can relax under the shade. Okay. You kids have really been working too hard, packing all that stuff and sweeping up. You, you've been working so hard, so it's time to relax, okay? okay. We're going to show you some more films. Now, we uh, travel almost everywhere with our gang, all over the United States, even Canada, and down in Jamaica. But uh, we favor the discotheques here in New York. We uh, recorded scenes at uh, Steve Paul's scene, Trudy Heller's, Joey Heller's Eighth Wonder, uh, Cafe Wow, which is not just a it's in the village, and Downtown Cafe. And in our travels, we met uh, Mick Jagger from the Rolling Stones, Joey Heatherton, Andy Warhol, the famous pop underground artist, uh, Evie Sedgwick, uh, Lloyd Gaines, so a lot of people in passing. So let's take you right now with Dave Clark Five to the scene. <laughs> Billy Stiller, Sandy Barron, Bruce Scott, Frederick Ayer, and a man named Mitsu Fushida. Mort Lynch in the orchestra, and your very obedient servant, Arthur Teresa. Look sharp now, here comes the dear boy himself, Murphy. All right, come on, everybody. Hey, what do I got to do all this myself? Come on, you're sitting around here. Must I do everything? The records, the books, and everything? Come on, let's get moving there. We only have a few more minutes. I don't know why you guys don't help me. I'm going to do everything. I'm sure you have a headache. Don't take it out of Marcus. Take life as it is. Be easy with them. Don't let anything get you down. Here. 
Be good. Be calm to people. Don't yell and scream. There's no reason for it. Please, calm yourself. Don't take your ice cream. All right, it's enough of that. Don't stand, John. <laughs> You know what, every once in a while, <laughs> every once in a while we have uh, special guest stars uh, on tape from other cities around the country, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Los Angeles, Chicago, or even England. And we present them as they were recorded in studios around the world. We had David and Jonathan sing a top five song called Michelle. So we take you to the Granville Studios in London for David and Goliath, uh, David and Jonathan, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, my belle, these are words that go together well, my Michelle, Michelle, my belle, so I love you, I love you, I love you That's all I want to say Until I find a way I will say the only words I know That you'll understand Michelle I will say the only words I know so you'll understand my mission. Jonathan, recorded in London, the uh, McCartney-Lennon song for you, Michelle. It's a pretty song, too. Uh, we have something special for you on our tape, the Hunger Deer tape recorder that was recorded by uh, the Bell Satins, and it's called Working My Way Back to You. Big top ten something now, by the Four Seasons, featuring the sound of Frankie Valley. Working My Way Back to You. Now, let's just wait one <laughs> cotton pick in a little minute here, Mr. Coles. I am your videotape machine recording man. I've been working here for many years with you, and not once, mind you, once have I ever received any sort of recognition. Not even my name on a little tag at the uh. end of the show. Uh, Why don't we get together and give me a really, really big round of applause? Come on, let's really hear it. Uh, I'm terribly sad. That was an oversight on our part. We really, uh, we really, we really forgot all about that. Jeez, the show is loose today, isn't it? <laughs> Working my way back to you, Del Satin.
and kids will be back later. Uh, next coming up are our film trip to Davos Sea Ranch for some uh, films of our ski weekend a couple weeks ago. So hold on, we'll be right back, I think. <laughs> Looking for romance, saw Barbara Ann, so I thought I'd take a chance of Barbara Ann, 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 you got me rocking and a rolling, rocking and a reeling, Barbara Ann, 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 That's how you did it. At least that's how you did it before the Beatles, 1957 style, Bob Rand by the Beach Boys, of course. I often talked on the show, uh, bragged on the show about our young staff. Uh, we have the youngest cast and production staff of any television show, a uh, major television show in New York City or the networks, and uh, the boys work very hard. And as a matter of fact, I've ha invited some of them up to the apartment. <laughs> All right, at ease over on the piano there. I've invited uh, some of the gang down to the apartment. Uh, our producer, Ken Johnson, is uh, not only producing this week, he's also directing the show back in the control room, back at the studio. Uh, if you missed our show uh, two weeks ago when he was on, I suggest you pick up uh, any comic book or magazine with pictures on the back cover of almost all of them. You'll find that he's on there, Ken Johnson. Sometimes they have long shots, you know, full shots of them, but he, you can see a picture there. But I've invited our director and a few members of our cast down our whole crew and production staff uh, is an average age of 23 years old. And uh, the captain of that team is such a great guy, and he's uh, sort of uh, very modest about things like this, but he's sitting in the dining room with the rest of our crew, and I want you to meet Danny Rosen, our director. Ta -da 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 -da. Danny, thank you. Right here. Da Danny, 27, right? 27. 27. Next to me, the, oh, I'm 28, so I'm the oldest here. But Danny's 27. And the next in line at 26. 26. No, you don't have to do that. He's on camera working the show. Our associate director, Mr. William Barlow. <laughs> William B. No, that's what you meant. That's what you meant, William. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, please sit right here. <laughs> Hello, world. Hello. Oh, William B. And our, uh, our second associate director, because our director needs plenty of help, especially keeping this crew in line. Uh, is a very handsome young man, uh, the only member of our production staff who can do the Boston Monkey, Jim Filia. <laughs> hey, Look at that smile, huh? Jim, uh, Jim is 21 years old. Go see a director on our show. Uh, we have uh, Vernon Zimmerman, our film sequence producer, is also 26, couldn't make it uh, today. He's out filming those underground movies, you know, <laughs> out of a job now, so you've got to make the best buck you can. 
but uh, he couldn't make it. And uh, Larry Adler, our prop shopper, is out buying stuff for Beachcomber Bill now. <laughs> couldn't make it. And Kenny Soames, uh, our writer, is working on a discotheque show. He'll still be with us. Uh, one other member of our staff books all the acts on our discotheque show and is responsible for things like uh, David and Jonathan, uh, tapes that you saw, and Mitch Wright and Detroit Wheels, all the special guest stars you see appearing on our show. Our talent coordinator, 22 years old, Lucky Layton. <laughs> There they are, girls. The conservative Del Satin. I know since, uh, <laughs> since uh, you have always been behind the scenes working behind a phone or a camera or a control room or earphones, uh, you have only had a, a chance to observe the work we do. You've never actually really had a had an opportunity to see what it's like to lip sync a song. Now, you all think it's very easy, you know. But it's so it's simple, you know, get up there, you move your mouth, you know, you do a song. You just saw the Del Satins do a real pro version of Barbara Ann. Jim, you're on the solo, it's on the cue cards right over there. Barbara Ann! There we go. Looking for a man, saw Barbara Ann, so I thought I'd take a chance with Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann, 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 you got me rocking and a rolling, rocking and a reeling, Barbara Ann. I completely forgot one thing. No, I did a terrible thing. I took everybody off the floor, and there was no way to run the teleprompter. I was going like lightning. You get on the prompter, Danny, you're going to have a cup of coffee. I didn't mean to embarrass you, Dan. Good sports. Thanks, Lucky, very much. Sorry it wasn't hello, Dolly. Okay, we'll be back after we uh, sign some contracts. Uh, right after this message, more music and some more fun. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Because a Drake's funny bone is covered with chocolate like a candy bar. But there's another reason why. Everybody, Everybody ought to have a funny bone. <laughs> because when you take a bite, there's peanut butter cream. The kind that melts on your tongue. And last and last, clear to the end. Don't you think everybody ought to have a funny bone or two? Everybody ought to have a funny bone. In a funny bone pack like this. They're the nuts. My new Drake's peanut buttery funny bones. Try them. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. 
Uh, for those of you who just tuned in, sorry about that. <laughs> we're moving today. It's our last show, and uh, we're sort of wrapping up with uh, some of the music that we played for you in the last several months, and uh, with some of the great films that we've uh, captured and the trips that we've made. I think probably the most uh, exciting experience <clears throat> was our trip that we made uh, about six weeks ago in a personal-sized six-passenger Lear jet to Quebec City in Canada. Uh, Angela Bryan, Vernon Zimmerman, Ken Johnson, myself, and uh, well, well, I thought that was it, I guess. Went to uh, the Winter Carnival in Quebec. And one of the most fun things that we did was uh, go tobogganing. So it was a combined experience. We never showed you the toboggan film, so if we can hop on the jet, in our home videotape recorder, we'll show you one more time uh, our trip to Canada, this time a little tobogganing right behind the beautiful Chateau Front Frontenac in Quebec City. And off we go. Someone very important you have to meet when you come to Carnival, and that's Bonhomme. He's a rock star. He is the king of winter, and he is so huggable. Look at him. Bonjour! Comment ça va? Ça va bien. starting to feel cold, pick up a glass of caribou. It's essentially like mulled wine, but it's been fortified with brandy. So it packs a punch, but it does the job. And of course, no visit to Carnival would be complete without having some poutine. If you're not familiar with poutine, it is made of french fries, cheese curds, and gravy drizzled all on top. Not for the health conscious, but it is really, really delicious. Well, that wraps up my time here at Winter Carnival in Quebec City. I had an amazing time and I'm definitely going to be coming back. I highly recommend you come make this a visit. It puts the fun back in the winter. So on behalf of myself and Bonhomme, we'll see you soon. Stevens and Peter Falk star in The Price of Tomatoes on the Hollywood Showcase Theater tomorrow night at 9. We'll say good along to the market and wait along and so. Oh, we better stick to lip-syncing, right? <laughs> it's always very difficult uh, when a family such as ours has to say goodbye but uh, we've really enjoyed our 10 months that we've spent on Sunday afternoons and Wednesday nights with you here on uh, 11. Uh, not only is our family breaking up, but uh, the combination of the Dell Satins, too, is uh, breaking up, at least in the present combination. Uh, Tommy, Freddie, Richie, and Lester will be joined by a new lead singer, the excellent singer, and Carl, what's his last name? Carl Parker. Carl Parker from Detroit. And uh, Stan Summers will uh, be singing on his own, so you watch for Stan, the Dell Satins. Angela Bryan and Tracy in clubs on television, and certainly you'll be buying their records. Uh, I just hope that El Satins uh, will not only uh, well remember the fun that we had on the show, but certainly not forget the hardships of the past six years that they've been together, right from the Lennox Hill House right to television. Uh, I think with that advice, they'll stay uptight. Thanks to our technical troops, we seldom uh, mention them, I always neglect them, but uh, we naturally appreciate the help of the guys inside the control room and 
out on the floor. And everybody for the uh, rather the fun that we've had with them. Till uh, next week on the discotheque, stay cold, thanking you. And, and we're you. all very grateful. I say it's from all of us. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye-bye.